Christmas is about hanging out with your family and appreciating what you have. It's not about the gifts. You're bugging. I love chilling with my family and all, but I'm not going to lie. What makes Christmas great for me is when I'm getting my gifts that I've been looking forward to all year. For the first time this year, I'm not really going to be picking up any games specifically because I got to upgrade my PC, which is beating up my wallet so badly, bro. Like, it's crazy. But enough about me. The end of 2017 for gaming has been weak, and you know it. If you are struggling to find games to pick up for Crema, I've got you. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall, and here are the top five games or consoles you should pick up for Crema. I swear to God, if you guys don't listen to me and don't pick these games up, we're going to have serious problems, bro. It's like, nah, this is your money. This is just my opinion. These are just to help you decide what you want to get for Christmas. Number one, Cuphead. I did a video on this game a couple months back. Definitely check it out. But Cuphead is an action adventure game that follows two brothers, Cuphead and Mugman, collecting contracts for the devil. This game is very difficult. When I mean difficult, it's difficult. But that's one of the reasons why it's so much fun. The bosses are very diverse. The scenery for each boss is different and unique. You could be fighting an evil mermaid in the water with your plane that looks like Medusa. And then another boss will take you all the way up in the sky, specifically the clouds, to fight a big dragon. It's wild. The best part about Cuphead is it's only $20. Next on our list is Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Boy, this... This game, this is the reason why they need to create more narrative driven games. This game's story is 10 out of 10. So it follows the events after the new order Blaskowitz wakes up from his coma. And if you are, don't already know about this game, the Nazis won. That's the narrative through the first game. So now it's your job in Wolf, Wolfenstein 2 to go back to the States and spark a revolution to take down the Nazis. I don't want to get into any more details because this game, its narrative is A+. The voice actors in this game, all of them did a great job. There was, no one was really lacking, but the main character, the dude who did it, I don't know, I forget what his name is, killed this shit, bro. This dude made actors that go up on the big screen look bad. Most of the time, when you're seeing like World War II films and shit, I hate when they go like, oh, uh, let's go kill some Nazi. Like, I don't like when they say because it it's always corny. But when this dude said it... Just who the fuck are you, white boy? Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear. It, it was pretty dope, especially when you're doing the missions. He's having like his, his thoughts, his thoughts are playing and he's saying, he's voicing it. And it's like this serious tone that he had. It's great. Caroline, you copy? Before you go upstairs, please watch over our people while I get this done. The gameplay mixes stealth and going ape shit on Nazis recklessly very well it's your choice on how you want to play it the shit that happens during this game is nuts like i don't know how this dude survived some of it. it it's crazy since it's winter break this is why this is one of my favorite choices it's winter break just sit back and chill and watch and play this game it's it's like a movie bro it's really good you won't regret it. Like, this this game is really dope. I'm so happy I bought it over Black Friday. This shit, it blew my mind. I did not expect anything from it. Third is the infamous PUBG Player Unknown's Battleground. I'm sure I don't even have to go into any detail on it. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I don't even have to tell you guys to buy it because you already have it. But in case you live in a bubble, this is a battle royale game where you can go in with a squad duo or by yourself against 99 other people. Think of it like Hunger Games. This game is difficult, which makes every kill exciting. This game will make you feel on edge. I remember when I first started playing, just running through a field got my stomach going crazy. It still does. 
remember in school or if you if you're still in school you're still experiencing it when you gotta go in front of your class and present something and you get that not feeling in your gut that's what it feels like it's it's crazy and that feeling doesn't really go away i'm still experienced and i still feel it it's a great game you won't regret it it's like i said it's challenging but when there's skill when there's a skill gap in games that's what makes it fun because you just start washing kids once you start getting the hang of it definitely check this one out okay so number two is going to be different because it's going to be a console so on black friday i got a nintendo switch and got odyssey and fire emblem with it it really surprised me especially after seeing the direct and how many questions i had and how it would work but i never would have thought i would have this much fun with it so the nintendo switch is 300 dollars, which is cheaper than most consoles but it's still $300. And the good thing is, it's a much better improvement compared to the Wii U. I don't know what the hell they were thinking with the U, Wii U, but it's much better. Especially with the games that came with it. I still didn't get my hands on Legend of Zelda yet. But this week it got Game of the Year, or was it last week? Whenever the Game Awards was, when this video comes out, it got Game of the Year. And I've been hearing nothing but great things about the game. Fire Emblem is a good game, and now you got Mario Odyssey. The only problem with the Switches are once you're done with the games, that's it. There's not many games out for it. But with Legend of Zelda and Odyssey, after you beat the game, the main campaign, there's so much stuff that brings you back to the game because how much detail they put into them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time. Number one goes to Mario Odyssey. I'm sorry, Wolfenstein. This one, it it's going to have to go a little bit above you. Not too much. But Mario Odyssey has to be my favorite Mario game. The creativity that was involved, like the stuff you can transform into, is crazy. The trailer only shows a little bit of it. Especially what you get to transform into at the end. It's such a surprise. It, it's so cool. The creators of Mario game just know how to make it work. This game is so easy. It, it's, it's crazy easy. And I don't have a problem with it because the level designs across every kingdom is unique and great looking. Each kingdom you go to makes you learn something brand new that will help you further into the game. My favorite kingdom was definitely New Donk City, especially seeing Mario turn up. So we got the Nintendo Switch, Mario Odyssey, PUBG, Wolfenstein 2, and Cuphead. Which ones do you guys see yourself most likely copying for the holiday? Which one? I think all of them were pretty good. Tell me what you guys thought on my list. Tell me what I should have added and what you guys thought of the games that I picked if you so happen played it before. Doing that will help everyone out tremendously because it gives more opinions and views from not just me, but I really hope you guys enjoyed my list and actually consider picking up those games and doing your own research. But you guys already know who I am. I'm Ken Wall. Like and subscribe. And here's a positive message for your week. Stay positive. I'm out. Peace. All right, this great and powerful message comes from my boy, Jared Edwards. Life throws big challenges at you, but you're more than capable to succeed. God doesn't give you things that you can't handle. Sometimes it's okay not to be okay. Through every problem and issue, there will be a learning experience for you to be successful. Remember, you always have to go through the struggle in order to succeed in life and be prosperous. I hope that was helpful for you. That was a very great message. It was very helpful for me. Thanks for watching again. You already know I'm Ken Wall. I'm out. Peace.